Hello, this is Buona from Buona.tv, and today I'm going to answer a question from Q&A on Twitter. This is using the Buona TV QA hashtag. If you got a question for me, go to Twitter, type in a question, and put pound Buona TV QA, and I'll see it, and I'll consider it for the show. So Ian writes, no, this is not Ian, this is Tech Junkie, Tech Junkie 09 writes, what's the best way to stream web content? TV shows, he says, to your PS3 without downloading it. Now, he's talking about streaming actual content from somewhere to your PS3 without actually downloading it to your PS3's hard drive. And I know that PS3 uh, hard drive can be valuable space. The more games you get and the more stuff you download, that 40, 60, 80 gig hard drive can fill up really fast. But thankfully, you can replace PS3 hard drives very, very easily. I mean, Sony even can, they put the instructions in the book on how to do it. So you don't break your warranty by replacing the hard drive. But you can also use a USB hard drive as well. So back to Tech Junkie's question. How do you stream web content? I got two recommendations for you. One of them costs money and the other one doesn't. First, I'm going to talk about the one that's free. It's called PS3 Media Server. So go to ps3mediaserver.blogspot.com. You can download this for Windows, for Linux, and for OS X. And it runs by Java. So it's cross-platform. It's pretty flexible. It can do a whole lot of stuff. I'm just looking at the, uh, the feature list here. Let me uh, make sure I get all the features. One thing I know you can do is that you can specify folders on your computer that you can watch content from. And what that what it will do is that it will transcode that stuff on your computer and stream it to your PS3. So that means that you don't have to worry so much about formats on your computer. All you got to do is put PS3 Media Server on your Windows, Linux, or Mac OS X box, and it will do the work for you and stream it to your computer. So, uh, I'm looking for a feature list here. Uh, okay, here's the profile page on code.google.com. This is what I saw when I downloaded it. And what it says is that the current features that is ready to launch and play, no codec packs to install, no folder configuration or pre-parsing of any kind of annoying thing. All your folders are directly browsed by the PS3. Uh, there's no automatic refresh, and there's an automatic refresh also. So they actually updated it. So the last use it. Real-time video transcoding of MKB, FLV, OGM, AVI, etc. Direct streaming of DTS, DTS HD core to the receiver. Bunch of cool stuff here. DVD ISO images, video, TS folders, OGG, FLAC, MPC, APE, audio transcoding. Uh, let's see, ZIP RAR for browsable folders. Internet TV, web radio support with VLC, M encoder, and player. It has podcast audio video feed support, so you can watch more on that TV on your PS3. Uh, Flag support and some other features as well. So this is a free solution feature pack. But this next solution you may find may be worth the money. And it's called Play On. This is something that I'm actually saving my pennies for because I tried it. There's a free trial right now. If you go over here, I believe it's a 14-day trial. Go to uh, themediamall.com slash play on and I'll put these show links in the description you can try it for free what this thing supports it's very cool it supports hulu.com and it also supports Netflix instant streaming yeah play on supports Netflix as well as the other stuff I talked about with the PS3 media server you can do files from your computer and stuff but it supports Netflix and I found it to be very simple. Netflix, YouTube, CBS, ESPN, CNN video, all with play on. And it costs, let's see what the cost is. I believe it's around hovering around 40 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. It is on my list of things to buy. Uh ba ba ba. They got okay, $39.99. I was right. So for $39.99, you can get play on. And you can run this on your computer. It only supports Windows, so that's one of the, the drawbacks. I can't run this on my Mac, and I can't run it on a Linux machine like the PS3 Media Server. But this runs on Windows, and uh, it has a very good Hulu and a very good Netflix interface that you can stream video content 
and audio content to your computer. And it shows up in the cross media bar as just a, a different source. So if you go to video in the cross media bar, you go down, you'll see a play on icon. And then from there, you can go to Netflix, Hulu, or whatever, and what have you. So, Tech Junkie uh, 0 something. I just know you by Tech Junkie. Tech Junkie 09, thanks for the question. And those are two ways I recommend to stream media content from your PS3 without having to download anything. Um, and like I said, I am going to. I'm going to possibly buy Play On uh, to get that Netflix and Hulu support because that's something that's very, very cool. And I like it. All right, this is one from one.tv. Thanks, Tech Junkie, for the question. And I look forward to your next ones.